So after um, commencement, I uh, you know went off to uh, Virginia State, and there again, there, it was a um, an interesting experience. It was my first time out of Lawrenceville, Virginia, and I knew I needed a uh, a C average to keep my scholarship. So my first year as a um, a student at Virginia State, I um, tried to make sure that there wasn't a party on campus that I didn't go to. I, I worked just hard enough to uh, to get my C average so that I could keep my scholarship. One of the um, landmark experiences was that we had three faculty members at Virginia State at the time. Dr. Uh, T. Nelson Baker. Uh, I don't know where Dr. Baker got his PhD from, but he was one of the few people back in those days who had a PhD in chemistry. Dr. Ruben R. McDaniel, who was a uh, mathematician, PhD from Cornell. In physics, we had Dr. Uh, John Hunter, PhD from MIT. And it turns out that Dr. Hunter was the third African-American to get a PhD in physics, except that at that time, we didn't know that. But getting back to Dr. Baker, I had gone in to, uh, to see him because I had not been doing well in chemistry, and I knew I needed a um, C average to keep my scholarship. So I walked into Dr. Baker and I said, Dr. Baker, uh, what do I need to make on the final examination to get uh, a C in, in chemistry? He said, you need an 82 on the final examination. But based upon your performance, it's highly unlikely that you will get it. Uh, so I said, that's okay. And I went back to work. As I remember this, on the day of the final examination, I went in to take the final exam. A little before the final exam was over, I got up to, to leave and handed my paper in. Uh, because I had to go and get ready for another mm -hmm. exam. And he said, are you giving up? And I said, no. You said I needed an 82. I think I have that. He, uh, he stopped me and he says, don't go anywhere. And he graded my paper on the spot and I made an 85. At which point he chewed me out. I mean, he really laced it to me about throwing away potential and the fact that if I could go back and make an 80, 85 of his final exam uh, and still have time left, that there was no reason I should not be doing better. And Dr. McDaniel, who was the uh, who became really my mentor in mm -hmm. mathematics, had taken me aside and really chewed me out because he felt that I was not uh, realizing my potential. And I was in one. Of, I was in this this group of of folk honor students that we would meet every now and then, and I was doing the worst of all the honor students, but I was doing enough to keep my scholarship. So at the end of that year, I had a soul searching and I thought about things and decided it's time to go to work. So for the rest of my college experience, I, uh, I worked hard and, and ended up being a, uh, a reasonably good student because I had said that I want to go to graduate school someday, had now learned what school was all about.